Hey guys, I'm Chris, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take another look at a piece of gear that I've covered a couple of times before. This is the Strandhog plate carrier made by First Beer, the Sappy Cut. I've done, I've looked at this and the setup of it uh, in a loadout video I did a little while ago and there's a, I've done quite an extensive review of the carrier itself. If you want to look back through the videos on the channel if you want to see a bit more information and like I say get a review of the plate carrier. But I'm probably going to be updating some of the pouches on this soon so before I do that I wanted to take a bit more of a close in view at just the setup itself, why it's like this and sort of, you know, show you guys why I chose certain pouches and why they're positioned as they are and just get a sort of a bit of a close in view of the whole setup. So I'm going to move the camera around and uh, we'll take a look. So first off, one of the really great features about the new play carriers that came out this year from First Beer is the tubes technology as they call it. That's these plastic pieces here. And they enable you to really quickly and easily take the whole plate carrier right apart. It's mainly designed as a, a quick release function to replace the old wire systems that you used to thread through uh, PCs like the, the old Siras. So what I've done is I've broken the strand hole down into the three main parts. I've got the front armor panel here, and over there I've got the cummerbund, both parts of it, and the back panel with the shoulder straps. So we can just take a look at one piece at a time. So here's the front panel totally separated from the whole rest of the carrier. I've only got one pouch on it. This is the Helium Whisper backed 10 speed Stanag M4 pouch from Blue Force gear. Super lightweight. I mean when, when this thing isn't attached to the carrier and you hold it you know individually it's like you even hold anything in your hand it's just absolutely light as air. It does a really good job of holding P mags, standard M4 mags, you know, and any magazine that's designed for a an AR-15 or an L-85 or a Tavor or whatever it's weapon system you're using that takes these standard type NATO magazines in 5.56. On the inside, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but what I've done is, because these carriers are designed to hold a plate, but I don't want to round with a real armour plate because I don't need to for what I use this for, I've just put some, uh, basically I've taken some packaging out of a an ammunition container that was holding practice linked 40 by 53 millimeter grenades for the grenade machine gun this is just literally just a bit of compacted polystyrene plastic foam stuff but it's hard and resilient it just so happened that i managed to find a piece in work that was the right size and all i had to do was literally chop these angles off at the top it's not a perfect fit as you can see there's a little bit up there that i didn't quite get it perfectly right but it just means that the whole thing when you're wearing it, it sits much better. As you see, it's a nice side piece. And it doesn't sag and sort of flop and slide around nearly as much when you're wearing it. Also, because I am far thinner than every you know, guy in the military seems to be, I had the Stranog down to the minimum size and it was still slightly loose on me. And the good thing about fitting plates is it sort of, it, it's the equivalent of tightening the whole carrier. It basically makes it a smaller size it, in essence. So there we go, that's the front panel. Move on to the cummerbund. This is the right hand side when it's worn. There's the other, that's the female portion of the tubes tech that would uh, attach into the front panel. Just got one pouch on here. This is uh, again helium whisper back. This is a medium general purpose from Blue Port Forced Gear. What I do with this is I've got brilliant pouches by the way. I mean, even look, look how the zip. It's like they've even put multicam webbing so that when you draw the zip like so, it covers it in a multicam. Really clever. All I do is when I want to carry my phone and my wallet securely and safely on me, it's got a nice plastic box. You can see that's taken a few impacts already. And it just keeps that nice and safe and sound. Fits perfectly in there. And there we go. really handy general purpose pouch. It does have a couple of elastic organizing sections on the inside of it. So again, like you'll notice with the, I've gone for the Helium Whisper stuff because the whole concept of the Strandhog is made of 500 denier cordura to save on weight. And then they've gone for this, the 612 system, which is all these slits here and that. 
again, instead of having to have all those strips of webbing sewn on along the lengths, you can just have these slips and that again, it sh shaves off the ounces and overall, if you use lightweight pouches with the lightweight carrier, you can save a fair amount of weight. So in the center here, what I've actually had to do is that I found even on the smallest setting at the default, it still was a little bit loose on me. So what I've done is normally the, this this bungee cord here is threaded through these pieces of the uh, this this material is the same as the helium whisper backing. They've used a bit of it throughout the strand off. Normally this threads through these, but even when I tightened it fully, it still wasn't quite tight enough. So what I've done is taken the bungee cord and threaded it and looped it laced all the way through the 612 and that compacts it even more and so you can actually go smaller than the minimum size of what it you know officially originally is designed to by first bit what you could do if you're a really really tiny bloke is or if you, you could probably even fit one of these to a child if you, if you wanted to for some reason um, and you could thread this bungee through this set of loops here or even that one or and you know, you'd cross these two sections over and they'd overlap and you can make it fit an absolutely tiny person. Or if you do, if you thread the cord through those original parts, you can splay the two halves of the cover band way out. So there's a massive range of adjustment in the strand hog. Left side of the cover band, just a single helium whisper backed smoke grenade pouch, blue force gear. It's a pretty simple pouch, but you can actually store M4 magazines in it quite comfortably as well pretty standard design no no elastic on it because it is more of a, a smoke grenade pouch than a, than a magazine pouch the reason I've got us most people would put these pouches up here so that they're just either side of their them primary magazine pouches this section here in the middle will be covered by the back panel when it's worn and then this part here will sit sort of just to the sort of the, your the front of your, the sides of your body, or the, the, the edges of the, the front of your, your stomach, as it were. And if you wear a belt rig with pistol and pistol mags, you want to be able to draw them up through that area. So you keep that area clear, put the pouches more towards um, around the, the edges of your back, and that keeps that clear. So that's the cummerbund done. Move that out of the way. And last but not least, the back panel. This is one of the pouches I'm probably going to change. This is the Patrol Instant Gear Hydration Carrier, two litre version. I can, actually, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I can't remember if it's the two or three litre this version. I think it's the two. Um, again, it's a, it's, it's a pouch that is specifically designed to be lightweight. So it's made from 500 denier cordura. But as you can see in the bottom here, it's slightly too long. Now, when you consider that SKD originally came out with these hydration carriers specifically to be shorter than the average one that was already on the market and it's still longer than the, the panel on the strand hog that shows you how how small overall the strand hog really is but overall even though it it does have that very slight overlap it's really not an issue it's an excellent pouch it does one of the fav my favorite features is it has this uh, big bit of elastic goes all the way through at the bottom that stops all the water sort of um, bulging out your hydration carrier just in the bottom as, as you tend to find will happen it makes the water stay spread out s s prevents it sloshing around quite as much inside it of course has to be the source ladder because I've been using these for a little while now and they are just so much better than any of the camelbacks I've ever tried filling them up via this opening at the top is uh, you know, just so much easier so much less of a hassle when you're trying to maneuver it around a tap um, and certainly when it comes to after you've used it and you want to get all the water out you want to give it a clean which is something you need to you know you need to keep these bladders maintained otherwise they'll just get full of bacteria and fungus and crap if you leave them for too long um, so yeah having that full opening at the top rather than just having the, the filling hole on the front uh, side of it here it's really it's a, yeah, a big step forward shoulder straps are just as standard all I've done is my uh, the actual tube from the source bladder comes out this side of the the hydration pouch 
threaded it through. Yep, you've got your shoulder strap here on the strand hog, and then you've got the pad. And the pad has this piece of the same sort of, sort of like a polymer fabric, if that makes any sense, um, that's used on the, the helium whisper pouches. I can't remember the exact name Blue Force Gear have for it, but it's got this piece, and then you can thread your hydro tube through that. It's quite a tight fit, but it holds it in place nice and securely. Obviously, you can also route comms wires, and you've got these cuts here for using like grim locks or bits of paracord or whatever it is. You know, you need to. Uh, you need to route and manage all those bits of cabling and tubing and stuff that are going around your gear. So there we have it guys. There's my little patch there. <laughs> um, that is the setup of my strand hog. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably be changing a couple of pouches soon. So keep an eye out for an update video on this. Thank you for watching. Cheers for all the, the thumbs up and the subs and all that good stuff. I do, again, <laughs> I always say it, but I do appreciate it a lot of you guys out there doing that and the, the channel is growing gradually and it, it you know it is nice I'm, I'm hopefully uh, you've enjoyed the video today and I'll see you next time